Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is May 26, 2024. And the Lord gave me a message. It started in the beginning when I was at church services today. Let us pray that this word be brought forth. Dear Heavenly Father, Lord Jesus, I come before you, precious God, to thank you for your love, your mercy, and your grace. To thank you for all that you have done, going to do, and will be doing in this place called earth. Lord, bless my children, my grandchildren, my son-in-law, and all my brothers and sisters in Christ, not only here where I live, but throughout the whole globe. That we are waiting patiently, watching patiently, and are ready to go home with you when the time comes. Yes, Lord, we see it all happening. We see it all happening, Lord Jesus, which brings joy to our hearts, knowing that soon and very soon we will be up in the air and in heaven with you. Amen, amen, and amen. Many are called but few are chosen. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the first and the last, and I have come in the flesh, and I am quickly coming again to bring my lovely bride and body home with me. But first, as I have spoken to my handmaiden, it w I will speak to you all who carry my Holy Spirit inside of them. For ye have been weary and heavy burden of what the world throws your way. But I am greater than all things. And I tell ye, come to me who are weary and heavy burden, and I will give you rest. My beloved, this is what I want to do for all my people, and much more shall I do. I am the great I am, and there is no other before me or beside me. I am Jesus the Christ, who is and who will always be the Son of the living God. Lay your burdens and your weir worries at my feet, my beloved children, for I am is here in your midst. Lay them down at my feet and I will give ye rest. I am speaking to all who have ears to hear what the Holy Spirit is speaking to my churches in these last hours. Love, Yeshua HaMashiach, your Lord and Savior. This is on, in Matthew eleven twenty eight, and this is what it says. It says, Come unto me and rest. At that time Jesus answered and said, I thank thee, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, because thou hast hid these things from the wise and prudent, and hast revealed them unto babes. Even so, Father, for so it seemed good in thy sight. All things are delivered unto me of my Father, and no man knoweth the Son but the Father. Neither knoweth any man the Father, save the Son, and he to whomsoever the Son will reveal him. Verse 28, Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Amen. Thank you, Jesus, Holy Spirit. This is the word that the Lord gave me today.
Be blessed. Shalom. And we are on our way home. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Praises unto your name, Holy Spirit. Praises unto your name, Father God, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen, amen, and amen. This was a short message, but a powerful one. So receive it, brothers and sisters in Christ. Receive all that the Lord gives unto you through his prophets, through his prophetesses, and through watchmen and watchwomen. Receive, 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 for these are the days that we must receive his holy word. Shalom. See you in the air. Praise the Lord again. I forgot to tell you the most important part in the message. The Lord spoke these words in my spirit at services when the Holy Spirit was in the midst of us. But for some reason, the man of God quenched the Holy Spirit, did not allow for the Holy Spirit to speak to his sheep. That is what is wrong in the churches. You believe in God, but you do not allow for the prophets to speak the words given to them for the flock. For the flock are not yours, pastors. They belong to God Almighty. The fivefold ministry is for the edifying of the church, and you must, must not quench the Holy Spirit. For those churches who are doing so will answer to God the Father. Shalom. Be blessed. This is a word of warning to all the pastors that quench the Holy Spirit. From God the Father, the Son, Jesus, and the Holy Spirit, and me, his holy handmaiden, a prophetess. Shalom. Take this message serious, pastors. Take this message serious. Many are called and few are chosen are those who were called by God Almighty as pastors from the Holy Spirit, not by man, like many of you are being called. No. Jesus will call those and fill his spirit in them as pastors. I know that many of you will be upset that our pastors, but I don't care because I must do and speak what the Lord gives me. Be blessed.